Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Garden Fork. Today I thought we'd try and make something that I really, really like and I always thought was really complicated and I don't think it is. Um, we have a bunch of cucumbers and it's the end of the year here so I want to use them all up and I thought let's try and make bread and butter pickles because I really like bread and butter pickles. Hey! But I always just buy them at the store and I thought well I've got all this canning stuff now and I went on the web and it's really easy. It's basically some vinegar, some sugar, some pickling spices, onion, and and cucumbers. So, I, you know, I think maybe you're supposed to have special pickling kind of cucumbers, but these are just regular table ones and we're going to use them and see what happens. So, I'm going to pick some cucumbers, play with the dogs a little bit, and then go inside and uh, cook this up. Shouldn't take too long. couple of these so we got these we got these peppers I'm gonna put some of these peppers in with the pickles as well I think with the cucumbers I think that'll be fun okay so this is really quite simple the first thing you have to do is you have to slice up your cucumbers and you're gonna salt them and put them in a colander over a bowl and let them drain really simple we're gonna have to take all our cucumbers and slice them up. You just slice them to however thick you like them. I like them a little thin, but you know, it's the eye of the beholder. And then we have to salt these. Now we're gonna salt them to get some of the liquid out of them. Let the salt sit for an hour or so, and then we'll proceed. So give me your colander, put it under a bowl. Take these and slice them up. So here we are, we got this all nicely sliced up. We're gonna take all this, Put this in a colander. So then we'll take salt. I just use this uh, kosher salt. You can also, I think this stuff called pickling salt, but you want to draw some of the moisture out of this. So then you just hand mix this. We're going to let this sit for an hour. In the meantime, just before you're getting ready to do this again, take your big pot, your canning pot, put it on the stove and start to heat it up because this thing takes forever to bring to a boil. Remember that. So like a half hour before you're going to start this, start your water. Make sure you have your, your cans, your, well actually these are jars with brand new lids. You can also, you know, you can reuse the jars and buy new lids. I just bought them at the store today, so. Alright, that's it. Now we go play with the dogs. Okay, so we're back. Um, this has been salted, by the way, I forgot to tell you, get our glasses out of the way, um, that you also, I put some onion in here and you salt the onion as well. So you just mix that all up and then I'll show you, this is how much water came out of there. That's quite a bit. That's basically, you, you don't want a lot of water in your, your pickling juice solution. So this comes out, goes in there. So now we have to make the pickling solution. That's really easy to do. You have, um, I have two cups of cider vinegar. You can also use white vinegar. I'm curious to see how cider vinegar works with this, so I'm gonna do that. So that goes into a saucepan. And then I have three quarters of a cup of just white sugar. And you can um, ramp up, uh, if you're gonna, can a bunch, pickle a bunch of stuff, you know, obviously you can ramp up this recipe, but this is for a couple of jars, so I just want to do this. And then for spices, there's a bunch of stuff that you can put in there, you know, up on the web, there's all sorts of things, and I'll list some stuff um, on our website, but I found this at the IGA, it's called Pickling Spice, and it looks like it has, Bill, by the way, Bill's shooting today, um, Bill said it has peppercorns, bay leaves, I think it has mustard seeds in there and some other fun stuff. So we're just gonna take some of this and put it in there. And I think I'm gonna take some of this and just drop it into each one as well. So we take our um, sugar and vinegar solution with some of the pickling spice and just, we're basically just gonna heat it up and melt the sugar into the vinegar solution. It's a little strong, so don't like lean right over it and breathe it in. Meanwhile, you've got your big kettle of water here going. 
so I need to sterilize um, the jars. And by the way, my friend Charlie bought me these, or maybe Lynn bought these, these rubber coated tongs after watching me, you know, grab the things the last time. So that was fun. Just let that fill with water. This is what I was talking about when you can reuse your jars. You can get um, just a little box of the new lids. So there's just a whole thing of new lids in there and you can reuse the jars and reuse the bands. That's the part with the thread on them. And it works just great. All right, so that's just about all dissolved. So we're gonna take out our, take these out and drain them. Don't, don't touch them, they're really hot. All right, so now we're gonna do the fun part. I'm gonna take a little bit of this pickling spice and just put a little bit in the bottom of each one. This is really cool. This is just gonna be a lot of fun, I think. And then um, I peeled some garlic, so I'm gonna put garlic in each one. I've never, you know, I've never done this before, so we'll see what happens. And now the cucumbers and the onion, so. I don't know if there's a scientific way, I'm just gonna put it in. You know, the ratio is up to you. I, I really like the sweet and sourness of the um, onion. That looks great, doesn't it? That's gonna be cool. Oh man, I forgot. Um, you're supposed to rinse off the, rinse the salt off of this stuff. That's hot. Um, we're supposed to rinse the salt off before we put them in the jars, so. Sorry about that. Uh, rinse off the salt. Un unjar, uncan your stuff and rinse off the. Do you have any comments, Bill? Or are you just gonna... No comments. Okay. All right, so we've got these all kind of nicely packed. I remember to rinse them finally. You got your spices here. There's some garlic in there. And um, just as a little extra touch, I have some red pepper. These are like a frying pepper. I'm just gonna put a little color in there. I think that'll look kind of fun. And now we pour the pickling solution on them. This will be great. This will be really, this will be very neat. These are nicely filled up. You take your lids and you put them in a little saucepan till they just simmer. You want to just sterilize them. You don't want to boil them rapidly. And I'm just going to do two of them right now to show you because we have a lot to do here. You just take these and put them on. Make sure that the top here is clean. And then you take the band and you put it on there. It doesn't have to be super tight. It just has to be that the lid, where the lid is gonna to touch the side of the jar has to be clean. So you take these and you put them in your canner or your, basically your giant pasta pan. And you process these for 10 minutes and then pull them out and let them cool, usually overnight. And you tap the lid and if it goes tunk, 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 if it goes like that, that means that the seal didn't take. You need to take the lid off, throw the lid out, clean, the rim of the glass, put a new lid on, and you can process it again. Or you could just eat those pickles. So, but this is easy. Just put them in, close it off, let it boil for 10 minutes, pull them out, and then you're done. So, that's it. <laughs>